Hello there to you all. We'd like to show you some new observations in this video. This first observation took place in the evening and the light from the distant objects was able to arrive to the viewer in full. This is pretty much the same setup as the last video. We are again viewing from approximately half an inch above the surface and the objects are at 75 feet from the viewer. Here is the temperature during the observation the next day. On this day, only the light from the top of the toy cars was able to arrive to the viewer. The bottom of the cars appeared sunken below the horizon. Here we raise the viewing height and the light from the distant objects arrives in full. And back down. Now we start from higher up and work our way down. Here I raise and lower the white car in and out of the mirage. And here is 10 minutes worth of footage that we sped up by eight times. As cool air blew in, more of the light from the cars arrived to the viewer. And when the air settled, less of the cars could be seen by the viewer. Here is another evening. This time we placed the cars away from the camera. The blue car was at 45 feet from the camera. The white car was at 60 feet. And the red car was at 75 feet. Here is the temperature of that day. And here are the objects. As you can see, the blue car is affected the least, the white car appears somewhat sunken into the horizon, and the red car appears to sink the most. Here 
here we raise our viewing height. And now we lower the camera height. Up. And down. Up again. And down. This time I pick up the red car and raise and lower it in and out of the mirage. We also observed a couple of cars that were slightly obstructed by a small mound of dirt. Here is a view of those cars during the evening. And now we raise the camera height and are able to see the cars in full. The next day, the objects appeared to sink further into the obstruction and only the very top of the yellow car was visible. We had to raise the camera height even more than the previous night to see the objects in full. Going up, going up again, and down. For this last observation, we placed the black car at 20, 40, 60, and then 80 feet from the viewer. Here is the car at 20 feet on this evening. And here it is at 20 feet the next day. This is the car at 40 feet in the evening. And here's the car at 40 feet during the day. Now the car is 60 feet from the viewer this evening. And here it is at 60 feet during the day. The car has now reached the atmospheric band and is beginning to sink into the apparent horizon. Finally, here's the car at 80 feet from the camera on this evening. And this is the car at 80 feet during the day. We raised the camera height and the light from the car arrived to the viewer in full. We have more land and water observations coming soon. Thanks for watching.